studying comedy because I was studying at Langara and I had this particular teacher I loved. Her name uh, is Mary Goldie, and she stopped me in class one day to say that there was a stand-up comedy writing class, and she thought I should take it. And it was the first time somebody I really, really looked up to suggested that I do something <laughs> like that. Although it had been mentioned before, and it was a dream. Um, just because, I think because I took her so seriously and I consider her a mentor, I, I followed through. I really admire comedians that just love, or performers that just love to be in front of a crowd. I still find that the most challenging part. I didn't feel that, oh, this is for me feeling, but I really wanted to make people laugh, especially my friends. It's really important to me that when I'm on stage, I'm being my best version of the dumb dumb that I am in everyday life. And I'm pretty, yeah, like I don't get a lot of stuff. So I think I bring that to my act. I don't really know how things work or why people are mean or... And I like to draw and to be silly and to have dance parties. And when I first started doing comedy, my act was so dark and I had to revisit that every night, revisit these times in my life that I thought would be great to write jokes about, but that I was over them. So bringing them up uh, for the fodder of an audience and it just was miserable. Do you guys like to draw? Yeah. Yes. yes! Who wants to draw dicks? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone can draw a dick! I can draw a dick so fast. Watch this. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> a coworker recently said, wow, you can draw dicks really fast. I was like, yeah, dude, watch this. Over the years, I've started to change my material to be only jokes that I like. I don't do a, become kind of a selfish performer. Um, and I hope that people like what I'm doing and I think it's uh, more authentic. I think I'm getting closer to just being myself on stage. So those exercises and just trying something uh, has really helped me grow and get in touch with that. But I also really like, especially when I draw with the audience, that I get to know them, which is really lovely. And people leave happy and that feels really good. I really want people to leave my show and they feel good. I don't want them to feel more cynical or that they're not good enough or any of those things. Like, I want people to feel good. Sometimes the rewards are just somebody saying, I really like that raccoon joke or I love drawing. I forgot that I like to draw. That's a bigger reward. Or seeing my friends be really funny that's that's pretty great like I see great moments in my friends and if I weren't out I'd miss them I'd miss this growth and the spontaneity and this talent so that's that keeps me going especially if there's someone I really like on a show and that makes it worthwhile my name is Alicia Tobin I am an astronaut and a comedian living and working in Vancouver I think in Vancouver there's so many uh, talented comedians that are good at a lot of different things and they're huge, huge risk takers, like Emmett Hall. He's from the Sunday service and he w he's brilliant and he can do anything and he will. And I love that. Same with like Dave Shumka. They take risks and they almost always pay off and when they're not paying off immediately, they're certainly paying off in the long term. 